Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Raw Charge Reviews channel, and today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Vintage Collection VC215 Luminar Unduli. Looking at the front of the card back, you get this awesome picture uh, from the series uh, with Luminar Unduli here in the background of the card. And then of course you get her name right here in the pill. You also get the figure that is included and the accessory. And then up here you get the 50th anniversary logo and the Kenner logo down here. And then here in the back of the card back, you get this scene from the 2003 Clone Wars series. You also get the VC number up here, this lineup or timeline uh, in the Star Wars universe, and then of course a bunch of these little warnings. But I'll go ahead and take her out of the bubble and we see what's inside. And here she is out of the bubble. And look her up close. She looks really cool. I love the amount of detail in the outfit. Looks very nice with the soft goods. And then of course, I'll go ahead and review from top to bottom. Look at the head, it looks very nice. And of course she has this awesome looking uh, headdress right here. Comes with this brown color or like this maroon. And you do get some articulation as you can see right here in the head. Um, it doesn't really move side to side with the headdress on, but it does go up and down. And why I pointed that out, is because you can actually take off the headdress. And I think it's a really cool feature because we don't get to really see Luminara's hair. So that's really neat to see it in figure form. She has like this green sort of like shading in her hair. And she has this tight bun right here. But yeah, as you can see already, they did an amazing job with the photo real tech. And you do get better articulation without the headdress. So you do get to um, move it around pretty freely. Here side to side, all the way up, and all the way down. Look at the torso. She has this sort of like, um, I guess like a dress, sort of like bottom part right here. And then here in the top part, she has like this black that goes around the sleeves. And she has this brown sort of like undershirt right there. She also has like this metal little like clamp or whatever around her neck. Uh, looks very nice. And it just continues right here. In the back as you can see she also has like this cape part to her robe and as you can see it has like this hood piece right here but it doesn't you know go anywhere but it does feel really nice and of course she does have a swivel here at the waist so you get some movement right there look at the arms the arm goes up about there before interfering with the headdress but without it it does go all the way around her arm sticks out about there. Her elbow goes up about there. She has a swivel here at the elbow as well. And then she does have a swivel here at the wrist. The other side as well. Arm sticks out about there. Goes all the way around. Her elbow goes up about there. Has a swivel at the elbow. And then a swivel here at the wrist. Look at the waist. She has this like uh, light brown belt. And has some gold uh like little I guess like bell buckles or something around her waist. She also has this piece of fabric right here in front and it is made of a looser plastic. And then the rest of her outfit is made of soft goods, which is very nice. And as far as the legs, the legs do st uh, stick out into a sitting position. They do go back about there as well. And right here she does have a swivel uh, around her thigh and look at the knees they do bend back into a kneeling position right there and look at the feet the feet do point down about there they point up about there and I don't think there's a swivel at the ankle and look at the accessory she comes with a lightsaber look at the lightsaber looks very nice has a silver hilt and this beautiful green blade to go along with it to put on the lightsaber, all you want to do is just slide it inside the grip just like this, and you're good to go. So that was an overview of the figure. Overall, Luminar is a pretty good figure. I like the idea of having more soft goods in the outfit, and I think that's something that the Black Series hasn't really done. Um, having soft goods means, you know, better articulation, especially like in the legs and things like that. Whenever the characters have like robes, especially Jedi. And I think that's something that the Vintage Collection does really well. 
The overall look and the accessory go along really well with this figure, and I think they got it spot on. But I'm going to leave you here and say if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if it's content that you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you guys on the next one.